Pawns are permitted to approach the castle, but not walk the grounds. I shall accompany you to the entrance. Come, I'll lead the way. This way, Master. Have no fear, Master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. Have you come to release me from this jail? Who are you? Aha! Uh -huh. Then we are presented with three options. Either the law of or, Deezer's arisen is false. Have you proof that you are arisen? Ah! They say the Arisen's breast bears a wound akin to the dragon's claw. By that mark, t'would seem it is true. This reminds me of a happening 148 years ago. During the reign of Regent Alphonse, a man named Crusoe appeared and claimed to be Arisen. He went before the people, insisting that he, and not Regent Alphonse, was the true Arisen, the one fit and what befell him, you ask? Ha! Crusoe was discovered to be a liar, whereupon his head was liberated from his shoulder. Aye, I dare say your arrival portends another beheading, but whose will it be, hmm? Oh, you've no interest in such things? Why, the law is everything to me. I believe I can surmise what you came for. And though I am here on false charges, I have no intention of breaking the law to gain my freedom. What is it? Have you come to hear more tales of false arisen? Escape? But why? Here, I spend my days perusing the code and deciphering old texts. I can div and I need not turn my ear to Deesa's absurd demand. That said, if you know of a place with a mountain of tomes I could delve into, I might tell me. Does that I suspected as much? Then we are done here. It's no easy thing, making a living as a soldier. 
Master, pray let me know beforehand if we are to meet somewhere different. Do take care. Not to stray so far next time. Those less fortunate. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Many thanks. May fortune smile. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. Shall we see if there's aught to be found while we're here? Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Many thanks. May fortune smile. Ah, hold on a moment, Sir Arisen. Perchance you would be willing to aid me with... You see, one of the children we care for here at the Gracious Hand has gone missing. Malcolm, his name is. He's a steady lad. I can't imagine he would have run away. This building's very old. It could be that he's found himself in some... Might I impose on you to search for him? Let us begin by gathering information. Indeed, you are correct. Malcolm's been really into exploring of late. Just the other day, he was going around telling anyone who'd listen about how he was an ox head. Malcolm. All he's doing of late is picking. Don't know why he bothered. If you wish it, I shall not move from this spot. I shall take this opportunity to observe our surroundings. was a fascinating tale those soldiers outside the palace were discussing. Regarding the Queen Regent and an important personage, you mean? Aye. Tell is, her ties to this figure from the neighboring country have a romantic tint. <laughs> generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. The other now, that's not so strange. But guess who I saw riding in it? Paul, and rightly so, as it turned out to be a young boy. The resemblance was so uncanny, I mistook him for her. Gave me a right shock, let me tell you. Odd to think a young noble should their faces may match, but the lives they lead are as... I wonder what it was Malcolm found. 
treasure? Oh, what does this say? Let's have a look then. Come over here. Interested in my wares? Wait, you. I end up feeling weary even on the day of rest. There's a car in the air of the sun. Living car? I'll hold on to this. After all, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Follow me, Arisen. Follow me, then. Unless you doubt my sense of direction. I wonder what it was Malcolm found. Treasure? Is Malcolm all right? We were supposed to go exploring together. But I overslept, and he went without wish he'd woken me up. I was really looking forward to going down into those vaults. Oh no, I wasn't meant to take. Making our report ought to be our next priority. Vaults, eh? Let us inform Sir Kendrick of what we've learned. If you would be so kind as to fuck Vaults, you say? By my knowledge, they were sealed off. Ah, but you mention rubble, aye? Then perhaps the lad found a way through. Come, I fear there's not a moment to lose. Pray, follow me, and quickly. I believe this is the place to which the children were referring. Look there, a hole. Could he have passed through here? There is naught to be done but have a look for ourselves. The passage ahead looks small, but we may be able to squeeze through. Let us make haste.
Master, a heavy pack will only slow you down. You ought to take stock of your belongings. Perhaps it is time we return to our base. Our foes are like to use the dark against us. Malcolm, thank goodness you are unharmed. You have my eternal gratitude, Sir Arisen. Now I can breathe. Sir Kendrick, you'll never believe what I've found. It's just up ahead. Books, sir. Books, books, and more books. It's like some sort of secret works. Truly, perhaps we ought to take a look. We ought not lose sight of our guide. True enough. How are we to get through this door? I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. Above. Isn't it amazing? And I found it. It is quite a find indeed. Is this some manner of archive? Why, I've ne'er seen so many books. This collection must be worth a fortune. It is a Might I ask that you not share the existence of this place with others, sir? We cannot allow the knowledge accumulated here to be misused or mistreated. We ought to entrust its care to someone worthy, someone who can appreciate its true value. Pray, tell me if you know of such an... As for you, Malcolm, I forbid you from telling anyone else about this place. It will be our little secret. And... Oh, but... However, in exchange for your silence, you may come and go as you please. Let's investigate this place's secrets together, eh? It's quite the collection of tomes. I'm sure I'd be seeing stars were I the scholarly sort. Indeed, you are correct.
Be on your guard. They're off. Are innumerable corners where an enemy might conceal themselves here. We must be ready for anything. The books ne'er seem. This place is amazing. Again. I must confess, it rattles me quite so much as the unexpected snuffing of my lantern light. I expect that's a common occurrence in our line of work. My patience has its limits. Heaven heed my prayers. Protect me from this evil. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. Really now? You mustn't shirk your duty, lest you forget tis the arisen we serve here.
haven't got any. It will take a better mind than mine to solve this. For my next shipment. No one's Do you know how long you'll be? I, I only ask so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. It is not our place to hurry the Arisen. First, assess the field, then at the quarterly. Well, have you found some place I might say? Oh, to think such a place exists. Guide me outside, then. If you can deliver me from this pit. Along. Ah, good. You return. I find myself on edge when you stray from my line of sight. Guide me outside, then. If you... I... This should be far enough. My thanks. If you truly are arisen, then I swear to someday repay this debt I owe. Words may be wind, but there's naught else I can offer you at present. Pray visit me if you've the time or inclination. Mayhap the knowledge I've gained reading tomes of Eld could be of some use to you.
I'd sooner stay out. Now to report to Captain Brunt. Pray, follow me. I don't know what to do. It's all my seat that takes. This place is awful dull. Don't complain, will it? But not at the expense of my duty. Here we are. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. It seems Magistrate Wardour has been safely delivered from his cell. The man's dedication to justice shall doubtless be a great boon to our cause. Mayhap it would be prudent to visit man on occasion, and avail yourself of his vast stores of wisdom? He might... Now, would you be so kind as to return the key I lent you? I thank you. Pray. Take this. Consider it remuneration for your majesty's... There is much we ought to tend to. We are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. I bear word from Regent Ken Spen, your majesty. He espied the delivery of a suspicious package to a man named Allard, a minister who happens to be one of the Queen Regent's staunchest and most powerful allies in the palace. From the pains he took to remain on scene, it is plain that Allard wished this delivery kept away from prying eyes. That alone is reason to suspect a connection to Deezer's schemes. We must get to the bottom of it. The Regent Kin intends to call Allard to his chambers come nightfall. He bids you to use this opportunity to search the Minister's chambers and see if there is aught to be learned. What say you, Your Majesty? I shall ensure that the door to the Minister's chambers is open between midnight and dawn. Pray. Use that time to infiltrate and uncover... This task is our responsibility. We must strive to see it fulfilled. It would seem we've a need to visit the palace.
We must rest, though the sun is still up. Good morrow, everyone. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Shall we get underway? I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Someone must have the answers we seek. If we ask around, we might... Master, idle chatter shan't do our cause any good. Tis the time of day when cities and towns hum with the ri... Make yourself scarce now. I've quite a temper. If our destination is a distant one, travel by ox cart might be worth considering. It would allow us to save our strength, assuming we are not attacked, that is. Treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Have we met, sirs? You seem familiar somehow. It was a fine journey we shared. Wherever your travels take you, I pray you go in hell. My, you're back! And not a day too soon!
You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my specialty. All told, I'm rather satisfied with my performance. Shall we discuss tactics now or later? This ox cart's bound for. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Setting out, jump on if you're paid. Wearing armor all day feels like a punishment. I'm in fine fettle today. sea lies in the distance, and beyond it, a land unknown. One day, when we're well prepared, perhaps we might venture there and explore.
We've met no foes for some time, but there's all the more reason for us to be on our guard. If we seek monsters, we shall doubtless find them ere long.